Hey everyone, so I finally have a next-gen gaming console. I'm really excited about this. I can finally play games like Assassin's Creed Unity and Batman Arkham Knight when it comes out. You guys know I've really been wanting to get a PlayStation 4, so last week it was kind of a spur-of-the-moment decision. I decided to get the Xbox One. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a little strange. Even though I've, I've really been wanting a PlayStation 4, there are numerous reasons why I decided to pick up an Xbox One. Um, the main reason is the price. Uh, it was $350, plus GameStop had a deal where if you trade in a PS3 or a 360, you would actually get $125 credit towards an Xbox One. So I wound up getting um, a brand new next-gen system for $230, which is a really good deal. So, uh, really in this video, I kind of want to talk about um, some of the games I picked up with the system, as well as what I like and dislike about the system, and really why I got it. So, um, another reason why I decided to get this is that, you know, I don't really get to see my friends all that much anymore, and they have an Xbox One, so I'll be able to play games online with them and talk to them, so that should be cool. Um, but, you know, I, I still plan on getting a PS4. Uh, it's probably going to be a, a while, though. Uh, honestly, right now, as it stands, there aren't really any exclusives on either system that I'm psyched about playing. There are a couple that interest me, um, like one of the games that, that I picked up for the system, which I'll get into right now. Uh, first one I picked up is uh, a game that I've actually played on multiple platforms. Uh, it's... Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Uh, this is the fourth time I've played through the game. I've already played through it and beat it again. Uh, but th this is a, a nice version of it. It's It actually has like a digi book with uh, some art pages in it, which is pretty nice. Uh, just a, a great game. I definitely recommend picking this up if you have a Xbox One or PS4. Uh, the other game I wound up picking up is Sunset Overdrive. Uh, this was probably the, the one exclusive that I, I kind of did want to check out. It seemed the most interesting to me. And this was uh, done by Insomniac Games, who of course created Ratchet & Clank series, which I love. So I haven't had a chance to play much through this, but uh, it's pretty fun so far. Um, so what do I think of the Xbox One? Well, to be honest, when it was originally announced in E3 of 2013, I believe, um, the, the DRM policies I was totally against, and I, I didn't want to have anything to do with the Xbox One. But, um, and even after they, they did a full 180 on their policies, I still wasn't really interested in it. But uh, since Phil Spencer took over, he has really turned the Xbox brand around, and uh, really done great things for, for the brand. Uh, so let's get into talking about what I like and dislike about the console. Um, first up, I dislike the actual look of the console. It's very big, uh, looks very much like an old school VCR. Um, I'm guessing they made it big to kind of avoid overheating issues. It has a ton of vents, a big fan on it. Um, so yeah, I, I don't like that. Um, probably the, the biggest thing that I don't like about the system is uh, downloading digital games. It takes way too long for some games. Um, I mean, for some games, it's it's not too bad because they're only a, a few gigs, but some of these games are anywhere from 20 to 60 gigs, and it takes a long time to download. And I've heard on the PlayStation 4, it's a lot quicker. Also, another thing is, I don't know if this is game disc uh, specific, but when I when I uh, put in Sunset Overdrive, you know, you would think when you put in a game disc that it would install directly from the disc, but it actually in started downloading the game from the internet instead of installing from the disc. And I, I know this because it took hours and hours to install this. It got to 92% and stood there 
stayed at 92% for two hours. So I just canceled the installation and found out that if I, uh, all I had to do was just disconnect my uh, wireless connection and put in the disc and it installed directly from the disc, only took about 15 minutes to install, which wasn't bad at all. Uh, so that's one major grab I have with the system. I also don't really like the uh, interface all that much. I don't think it's very intuitive. Uh, but I mean, it, it works and it's, it's okay for what it is. But yeah, when, when I first got the system, I didn't know how to do really anything with it. And really the, the interface didn't help me in understanding how to use it at all. So th that, that was a, a, a big problem uh, with it. Um, but as far as the things I do like, uh, things that really surprised me uh, about it was the, uh, the television. Feature, I, I thought that was a completely useless feature. I, I I didn't like it, but you know I've got my cable box hooked up to it, and I, I watch TV through it all the time. I don't, I don't know if it's just the because uh, it, it's kind of neat being able to do that, um, but I, I I like doing that. You know, being able to watch TV through it, and then like watching a show, then it cuts to commercial and go play game, and then come back to it. I mean, it's. I, I like that feature. I didn't think I would, but I do. Uh, the stat feature is also pretty cool. Uh, you know, being able to play a game and then having your achievements up is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I like those features. Uh, some good features to it. Uh, the controller uh, is actually... I actually... Let me grab it right here. <sighs> I like the controller. I, I think the Xbox 360 is controller is a better controller, but... I think this is a very comfortable controller. The D-pad is very much improved, um, but yeah, the overall layout of the controller, I think the 360 is a little bit better, but this is still very comfortable in the hands. I know some people do have a problem with the uh, the, the triggers here because I think they hold it like this and it, it's a bit uncomfortable, but you know, I, I, just, I just do the one finger for both um, buttons on top. But yeah, I mean, I think it's a it's a pretty pretty nice controller for what it is. Also, I do like the rumble feature. It it actually rumbles um, in different like if there's an explosion in uh, in your game, uh, it'll actually it, like on the left hand side of your character, it'll rumble on the left hand side of the controller. So that, that's pretty cool. It just rumbles in different places depending on the action in the game. Um, I also like that the um, battery pack isn't. Um, protruding out of the controller, it's it's um, front with the actual back, which is nice because it, it did get in the way of my fingers on the 360 controller. So overall, I think this is a pretty nice controller. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's that's really those are really all my thoughts on the Xbox One. I'm fairly impressed by it. I do have some problems with it, but uh, you know, honestly, I'm just happy to be able to play some next gen games. Uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, definitely like the video and subscribe. Till next time.